Another accessory that we offer to add longevity to your boat cover is the boat cover support system. Here again, the idea is to add support from underneath that cover to prevent water from pooling and debris from accumulating on top of that cover. Keeping it taut and tight will add years of life to your cover. Now the boat cover support system includes an adjustable support pole, a strap assembly, support strap assembly, and two pieces of webbing for the stern section. Now I'm going to walk you through the assembly of the boat cover support system. Okay, so now we're installing the boat cover support system. We've identified the support patch. Now the first thing we kind of need to do is to figure out relatively where over the length of this boat that the patch is going to be located. This patch goes on top of the boat cover support pole that's included with the system. So typically this is a V-hull bow rider. Typically the highest point so we can tent the cover down is going to be somewhere in the cockpit area, somewhere behind the windshield. So, we've got the support patch. We want to identify the front versus the rear portion of it. The rear portion of the patch has the two quick connect adjustable buckles. The front portion of it has the one quick buckle and then this long piece of webbing strap. So what we want to do is take the webbing. Now you're going to find a spot on the bow of the boat that you can hook this webbing up and under. So this one, we have two perfectly positioned bow cleats. So we're going to take the webbing, guide it underneath one bow cleat, up and under the stern, and then around the other cleat. So now we're going to walk this back to the position where we think we want to put our support patch in the support pole. Close my windshield. Okay. So somewhere in this area, I'm going to loosen and adjust the support pole. There's a snap on the bottom of your support patch where you snap that pole in place. And then I'm going to bring that other side of the strap up, thread it through the quick lock buckle, and lock that in place. Now, the webbing is adjustable, so you can vary where on the boat you want to position this. And the system is probably about the best usage for a 17 to about a 26 foot boat. Okay, so this one is in position now. It's time to do the two rear stern strap supports. Included with the boat cover support system are these two stern straps. On the end of each of the straps is this molded hook. Now the idea is to find a suitable spot in the rear of the boat that you can hook these onto. Now this particular boat happens to have a couple of stern eyes located perfectly. What you want to find is something that this will hook onto sturdy enough to help support that boat cover. All right, you're going to take that webbing, bring it up to one of the adjuster buckles, Thread that through, and then just draw that up tight to secure. Now we're going to repeat for the other stern strap assembly. All right, so now we have the boat cover support system installed. We've got our bow strap in place and our two stern straps. Now, the adjustable buckles allow you to move this fore and aft as you need to to get your support system properly positioned under your cover to provide the best support. Now at this point you probably want to put the cover on and just verify that the position that you've chosen is going to do the job for you. If not, just peel it back, readjust your webbing a little bit and move that support pole to the, just the right spot underneath your cover. Then it's a simple matter once it's all been adjusted of just releasing the buckles to take the system down. When you're ready to put it back up, everything's already adjusted right to where you need it.